When I first looked at this keyboard, I thought, wow, this thing is almost too good to be true. A wireless mechanical keyboard for 20 pounds. Wait, what's this? Hot swappable switches. There's got to be some sort of catch, right? This keyboard will be absolutely perfect for some people and absolutely useless for others. Let's get into it. The keyboard comes with some extra accessories in the box. It comes with some extra keys, some extra key caps, a key cap puller and a key switch puller, and also this little cute bow tie right here. It comes with a little piece of adhesive that you can stick to any part of the keyboard that you'd like. Honestly, I think this is quite nice of them. They didn't need to include the extra switches, but if you're planning on keeping this keyboard around for a long period of time and, you know, one of the switches fail or something like that, you can just replace them. My girlfriend also really appreciated the extra keys that it came with. They come in a slightly like more vibrant pinkish color, which she seemed to really enjoy, but there was some small gripes that she did have about them. For one, some of the legends didn't match what was on the keyboard with the original switches. And also it didn't cover quite the keys that you would expect it to. But considering that these are little extra keycaps that it comes with, I don't think it's fair to complain about this too much. So now that we're out of the way of the extras, let's see what we think about the keyboard itself. First of all, there's a little back plate here that you can take off to make it look a bit more streamlined. It's a 10 keyless design, which I think is perfect for most people because aside from accountants, I've very rarely spoken to people who actually enjoy using the numpad on a keyboard. And the keystrokes sound amazing. I think this is actually the best sounding keyboard that I personally own and I've gone through like 15. And especially for the price point of $20, I think that's absolutely mind blowing. Construction feels great too. I mean, it is all plastic, but it's a really good feeling type of plastic. It's matte all round. And uh, as for the flex test, yeah, there's no flex this thing at all. On another note, I'm not sure what the point of that is. You know, is anybody actually going around flexing their keyboards? Tell me in the description below if you think YouTubers are actually warranted for telling you guys to sort of mash your keyboards around to see the durability of them. But we digress, It is a, it does feel sturdy. It comes with Bluetooth functionality alongside a 2.4G USB dongle. Uh, you have two channels for the Bluetooth, which means you can connect this thing to two devices. But that's where actually the first issue comes around with this keyboard. You have two channels for Bluetooth and also the USB dongle. There's actually no way of connecting this thing via a wired connection, which as long as the battery life for this keyboard is really good, I guess isn't that much of an issue, which it does actually have a very good battery life. We've had this thing for over a month now uh, on two half depleted AAA batteries and it's been absolutely fine. But I know you just heard me correctly. Yes, it does use AAA batteries, which is kind of a positive and a negative depending on how you look at it. See, it means that obviously the battery life of this thing is greatly improved in comparison to having a dedicated battery in there that's rechargeable, but also it means that you have to actually physically swap out the batteries every single time you want the charge on this thing to be replenished. So as long as you keep yourself, you know, a couple AAA batteries in the drawer next to you, it's not that big of an issue and it's quite easily solvable. Considering the price, it's no surprise that it does lack some creature comforts. For one, if you are in a dark room, this thing doesn't actually have any backlight. But as long as you can turn on your lights regularly in your room, it's not much of an issue. And I think honestly, still for the price, it does look like a very nice keyboard. But at the beginning of the video, I did allude to this having a major issue as to why it might be totally useless for some people. And it actually boils down to the fact that it doesn't have a wired connection. This thing has a lot of input latency. Sometimes it feels absolutely unnoticeable and you're typing away and things feel absolutely fine. Other times it feels like there's like a two second delay between your inputs, which if you're typing up an essay isn't a major issue, but if you're playing a game is totally unusable, which is a shame because this thing actually does support seven key rollover, which is a feature that would be absolutely fantastic for any gaming keyboard if it didn't have this input latency issue. Overall, I do think it's a great keyboard for people who are using it for professional work or potentially writing up your essays for university. I think it's absolutely fantastic for that type of thing. But if you're planning to play some video games on it, I think there's definitely a lot better options that you can be looking for. If you haven't seen our video on Key Rollover, it should pop up right here for you. And also we made another video about a computer here where we went a little overboard, I think, trying to buy the best computer we possibly could for 400 pounds. And I'll see you guys next time.